Yeah. On your shift, you want to get your tickets to that early too, because they sell out. And then um, a couple of weekends after that, we've got Lupita's Revenge coming back from Asheville. Oh, oh they're amazing. They're going to spend a weekend with us. I, I don't miss it. They're, they're amazing. Um, again, I can't thank you all for coming back to us. Uh, it, it was difficult coming out of COVID. Um, we had a, a, a lot of a lot of difficulty maintaining a season. We had to resort to a lot of comedy and improv. It was, it was very savory. Michael Fortino uh, started an OnlyFans account. <laughs> Proceeds, but I, I think we're owing money. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the most difficult things, uh, one of the biggest obstacles, was having enough actors. We just we just didn't have enough people to, to do a, a scripted show. Uh, some of you might remember our attempt at summer stock, uh, Chekhov's two sisters, <laughs> and it was our holiday special. Line and wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there was our very valiant attempt at this season's opener, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's time honored musical, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, though, we do have enough actors for this show. And uh, this, this does promise to be the best show that Les Chatmois has ever done. Um, I think I've seen most of it. Um, <laughs> so if you would, please put your hands together. Ooh. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Susie H.K. Bridewell's thrilling whodunit, A Murder at Haversham Bank. He'll be here next to us. <laughs> having a 
phone, Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get me Inspector Card. Yes, I know it's late, damn it. I don't care about the weather. There's been a murder. Someone's murdered Charles Havisham. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Sound effect error in Q4. Thank you. He's on his way. Inspector Carter? They say he's the best damn inspector in the district. <laughs> You'll crack this case in quick. And what time do you <laughs> Lock every door, man. And if a soul gets out of the punishment manner until the killer is found. At once, sir. And assemble everyone in here. Right away, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Charles murdered in his own engagement party. <laughs> Perkins is right. 
My brother was hiding a deep sense of melancholy and resentment. Oh, I have no doubt in my mind. It was suicide. Suicide, Mr. Hatcher? How could you say that? It was murder. Murder in the first degree. Oh, nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> for a man. 
man to die just three months before he's to be married. Yes, I can't stand it. Look at him lying there. <laughs> <laughs> this is most... Morris. <laughs> Morose indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Perkins. I'm just at the right of the mantle, please. <laughs> 
soon, my love, but we must be careful. We mustn't arouse suspicion. So, so tell me, who, who do you think killed Charles? No doubt in my mind, the person that killed Charles was your brother, Thomas Collymore. My brother a murderer and Charles dead? What a devil of a situation this is. Not so fast, Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
are you engaged to be married? In the new year. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did you meet your fiance? Well, we met only about seven months ago, but my brother has known him since school. He introduced us at a local gala, and it was love at first sight. I knew from the very first moment I saw him that he was the man I wished to marry. I ran out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> when you love someone, there's no such thing as rushing, Inspector. Did you ever feel that you were rushing into this marriage? Hmm. <laughs> Why wouldn't I love him? Did you love him then? Would <laughs> <laughs> anyone have benefited? Can you think of anyone who might have benefited? <laughs> Cecil? Not you, it's Cecil. I wasn't having an affair. Don't raise your voice at me. You were having an affair. <laughs> Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down, Mrs. Colleen Moore. <laughs> Inspector, he's a dangerously unhinged man with a devil of a temper and fr 
Florence is his sister. I've said it once, and I will say it again. He saw them tonight at the engagement party. He lost control, and he lashed out at Charles. A crime of passion, perhaps, but there it is. <laughs>
Or it's put me in a very inconvenient position. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't authorize any of these transactions, and you find out who did, and you call me right back. <laughs> what is it, Colin Moore? Nine thousand pounds stolen from my private savings. Oh, good lord! What a grizzly evening. Thomas, I'm afraid I have a confession to make. Mm. Florence, Florence and I, we're, we're having an affair. What? <laughs> <laughs> you are my sister! Oh, oh, come on down, Colin Moore! We're in love. <laughs> in love? My sister doesn't love you. How dare you lay your fingers on my sister? Your own brother's fiance. It's disgusting. No wonder your father hated you. Oh, how dare you talk about my father, Cullimore? The time has come for you to answer <laughs> your indiscretions. Draw your. <laughs> <laughs> But no match for my skill. I forget your Charlie's brother sometimes. You're so pathetic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I always was too quick <laughs> for you, Collymore. But not bad. <laughs> Mess. 
Which night I've seen an 88. Eight. <laughs> eight, eight, eight. <laughs> save me, brother. Oh, save me, brother. I shall live with a bunch of hair on your head. I'm panicking. I can't believe. Cecil. 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 <laughs>
only need to answer quickly if we're going to get out of this house alive. Oh, Inspector, you've given me a chill. <laughs> Perkins? Pour us all out of the sky. Yes, Inspector. <laughs> Tell me, is there anyone else that you know of in the grounds other than the four of us? Not a soul. <laughs> the time left at six, the only other member of staff is Perkins. Good God, I need you. Does anyone else have access to the grounds? No one, Inspector. I'm the only one with the master key. And as instructed, I bolted and locked the doors as soon as you arrived. <laughs> but who could have killed him? That's a good question, Mr. Collymore. I want only really to answer quickly if we're going to get out of this house alive. Oh, Inspector, you've given me a chill. Perkins! <laughs> Pour us all in. <laughs> We know that he, too, was murdered on the same eve in cold blood. The only thing we don't know 
is who the murderer is. Oh, the tension in this house.
from being a little bit slow and couldn't make it to the gates. Good <laughs> heavens, Arthur, come inside. You won't believe what a nightmare of an evening it's been. Oh, well, what do you mean? Oh, Winston, Winston, get down from the chase now. <laughs> Mr. Havisham, surely you don't mean Charles Havisham. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> I suppose 
to this evening, have you, Arthur? On the contrary, Inspector, I've actually discovered a clue that will help solve this case. <laughs> a handkerchief. Monograin. Monograin. <laughs> <laughs> stained with Kyanides. <laughs> Examine this more fully. Thomas, fetch me my magnifying glass from Charles's desk. <laughs> Without delay, Inspector. <laughs>
Surely you believe I would never do something like this? On the contrary, Miss Cullen. It was actually I who discovered you to be the guilty party. Oh, Arthur, how can you? Please, you must protect me from these fiends. I'll do anything to win your trust. Miss Cullen, you know I cannot resist your feminine charms. <laughs> I have seen you <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 
for me in a room full of witnesses? Don't think I wouldn't do it. If you tried to kill me, I'd merely be returning the favor. <laughs> <laughs> Briefcase. Inspector? Uh -huh. 
where we shall find a bottle of cyanide, Thomas Collymore's 9,000 pounds, and a one-way ticket to Celine Dion's Titanic. <laughs>